Hello guys, welcome back to the tutorial on Selenium for Python installation. In the previous video, we have learned the basic steps to install Selenium for Python and we have imported the necessary drivers in our project as well. In this video, we will learn to open a website using this Selenium and fix the potential issue which is a very important step in our Selenium automation. So first let's open a website here. For that one we have a method from web driver which we can make use of that one. In a web driver we have a method by name get. By using this one we can import any website and try to do the automation here. So as you can see here get is the method. Within that method we are going to pass the parameter or the website URL which we want to do the automation. For this example let's add the website http www.google.com so let's try to open the google.com using this selenium automation so that's the only one line of code which we need to add in our project to open the website so once you are done with that one let's run this application you can observe this project is starting as we have written the code for installation the necessary installation for chrome driver or selenium that will be taken care now once that is done, a new browser window will open and within that one, website will get opened. As you can see here, a window got opened and window got suddenly closed and we got that message in our terminal window as well. Process finished with exit code 0. This is the common issue which I was talking about. The code whichever we have written that is working fine. It is opening the website which we have defined here but it is getting closed automatically. We need to keep open that browser then only we can do other operations or any automations here. So to fix this one we need to add three simple lines of code in addition to this web driver code. The code which is not mentioned in the website here so that's why it is the important steps which we need to mention here. First line of code is here we are creating a new instance of Chrome options. So this class allows us to customize the behavior of the Chrome browser which we are using for our automation. And the second line of code which we need to add here is options dot add experimental underscore option with the two parameters. So this line adds an experimental option to the Chrome option and the detach option which we have set to true instructs the web driver to detach from the browser session after the script finishes the execution. This means that that even after the script completes the browser window will remain open which allows us to interact with that browser and inspect the page and do the automation or whatever the steps which we want to do and the final step is the options instance which we have created here we need to add it to the driver which we have created earlier for that one within this web driver let's add as a first parameter that's it now we will rerun this application as you can see here now the automation code which we have written that successfully opened the browser with the website which we have mentioned here and you can also observe that there is a notification message at the top by saying chrome is being controlled by automated test software when you see this message it confirms that your selenium script which we have written is successfully controlling this browser so now we can write code to automate some of the tasks here so that's it guys for this short video thanks for watching this if you like this video please click on like button share it with others and subscribe to my channel